Hello my fellow weirdos and welcome to another speed build. I know I haven't been doing these a lot lately, but it's because I've been having a lot of trouble with my recording software, but I think I finally got it figured out. Um, apparently, when I was saying it would take like 8 hours to process my videos, I did not realize that it was recording the videos in 4K. Like, uh, I don't need it that high, thank you. So what I have to do now is like put it into the software and change it to 1920 by 1080. I think that's the aspect ratio. Anyway, um, once I get that all fixed up, then it exports in like an hour. So that's awesome. So I feel a little bit better doing this. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm so excited to be doing speed builds again because I really miss doing them. Um, I, I just I don't know I just love doing them I love building I haven't been building lately because I've been concentrating on my stories um, if you don't know I'm on Instagram I have two stories one is 13 which is the I the same story I've been telling on Twitter for a while but I have it on Instagram I'm making them comic style uh, the other story is called secrets of Ravenwing Manor so um I will link, there'll be a link to those down in, I'm pointing, you guys can't see me pointing because I'm not doing face cam for this, but um, there'll be a link in the description below. Anyways, let me get into telling you what I'm doing here. Um, every year I do something kind of spooky for Halloween. I try to. Last year I did like my, um, my abandoned Victorian short I think it was where it's like I went through a haunted house and like woohoo and then the I think 2020 was when I did the real life case files which I really want to get back into doing those too but to get back into building I found this book and um let me see what is it called it is called American Victorian Cottage Homes I will include a picture over to the side here so it doesn't uh, block the view too much but um, this book is really neat it was made I mean the book I have was you know republished in I don't know when but it was let me see if I can find a date here um, it's really really cool because it's oh it was originally published in 1878 and when you go through the book, there's like ads for like from 1878 in it and stuff. And like the houses, this one I'm building here. Um, let me see if I can find it real quick and I can read the specs on it. Here we go. Okay. So this is plate 14 or design 24. Um, design 24 gives plans, elevations, details, and perspective view blah 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 uh, it has six rooms with the tower I guess six rooms means that it's um uh, that accounts all the rooms I think it only has three bedrooms I had to play around with the upstairs a little bit because I don't think I made it big enough to fit the actual floor plan because I am doing it from four floor plans um, and the tower roof, like, I had so much trouble with that tower roof. But anyways, the cost of this house in 1878, did I say, was $1,700. So, it's just, wow. <laughs> yeah, I, oh, I didn't put a little, oh, man. There's supposed to be little spikes on top of the tower and the, the roof peaks. Ah, uh, well... You know, I was just in such a hurry. <laughs> but um, lately, I've been trying to do more abandoned builds because it, m abandoned builds are fun, but they're also like easier to do for me because I don't have to sit there and think about like color schemes and you know making the rooms look nice and what style should I use and all that stuff. I just throw a bunch of trash. I'm sorry, I don't throw it. I artfully place the trash down. Anyway, let me go back to explaining what I'm doing here. So I found this book of old Victorian houses from 1878 or whatever I said. 
So I am building each house and I'm going to fill Newcrest with these houses. So um, they're all going to be abandoned. It's my abandoned Newcrest thing. I'm not going to put it in a save file, but I will have them uploaded to the gallery. Um, this one is just called uh, Abandoned Newcrest Lot 1, I believe. But um, they'll probably either in the description of the other ones, not this one because I didn't think to do this, they'll put where it's supposed to be placed. So if you want, you can go through and you can do, you know, make your own abandoned. You can use my houses for that. But the reason I decided to make these abandoned houses, most of all, is because I'm coming out with a new series, a new Let's Play called Haunted House Flipper. It's a challenge. And I mean, they have house flipping challenges all the time, but this one adds the added, um, the added like ghost aspect to it. And this is something you can do whether you have the paranormal pack or not um you don't have to have the paranormal pack you don't have to have the interior design pack it's a challenge but you'll see when the videos come out it's i don't know how well it's going to work but this is what i'm i'm trying to do so what i want to do is build up my gallery to have a bunch of abandoned houses in there for people who do want to do this challenge and you know play around with it or if you just like fixing up old houses you know without the 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 playing or the challenge of it you just want to fix them up and make them look nice that's fine too but these are all going to be in my gallery my gallery id is flower f-l-o-w-u-r um currently i'm focusing only on victorian houses because of that book but i'm thinking about doing each world and then do them um, uh making houses that are like that world i'm not sure if i'll do that or not but like in the style of that world and i know um i want to see willow creek has a lot of victorian i can't remember if they're victorian or not now that i'm thinking about it anyway um yeah so this is my build i'm very proud of this one i love i love the junkiness of it i felt very artistic when I was putting the uh, the lay, uh, um, uh, terrain paint that's the word I'm looking for I was trying to make it look really pretty and it kind of came out a little bit like camouflage you'll see in a minute um, but it's supposed to look like the the grass kind of died in spots and it's like really dead in other spots and you know like but I tried, I had so much trouble, like, because I have better build by, and I didn't realize that I had to turn on, um, I don't know, something, <laughs> can't even think of what it was called, but I had to, I had to turn something on in order to get the live edit objects, and I was trying so hard to figure it out, and then after I did, I realized that it was debug objects I was looking for anyway, so, I don't know, it was really funny, I was tired. I was having a lot of trouble but yeah this is my first as you can see it's in avarice avarice acres i don't know if i said that right but you know anyway this is my haunted build i might make some ghosts too because i've been making a lot of ghosts lately uh again you'll see in my haunted house flipper videos that i do make a lot of ghosts and it's funny and i can't stop laughing when i'm doing that Anyway, I will let you go and enjoy the rest of this video. I hope you like my abandoned home here. And I hope you enjoy this series altogether. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. Remember to always stay weird because weirdos rule. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel, okay? Um, oh, see, here's the, the camouflage that I'm trying not to look like camouflage. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching. And, oh yeah, don't stop watching. Uh, the screenshots are coming up. Bye, guys.